Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. Three hundred years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system, when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vast Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, I'll ready a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father, and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, 
If... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have no information on that. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. Pretty desolate, even for an outpost. All right, just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? We can't hold them much longer. Push! Push forward! Maybe we can flank these guys. Watch for it. They are up. We'll do. Jacob, how bad? I'll live. I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you, too. Thanks. And you as well. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. 
Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. So, Jacob Taylor is now ex-Cerberus too. Dr. Brown, I'm so sorry. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes, well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster, who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. I have to go. And I'm not even gonna pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. Stockholm cell to pack their own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How did so many escape? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? 
Children? Goddess. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You win? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Leave those things. Let's just get the hell out of here. Commander Shepard. Dr. Cole? Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague through Jacob's eyes. I guess I was... I get that. I don't know what we would have done without him. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. How long have you known Brit? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. 
building a life. Whatever's left of it. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. I'm not willing to die to save this data. Let me. I'll purge it and meet you at the shuttle bay. I don't want to die. Go. Just go. I told you that we should have gone to Sanctuary. Okay. Let's just do this. Just focus on getting out of here alive. These civilians had no hope of coming out of this alive. They are brave, but misguided. And now they may all be dead. guns manually. Thank you. 
junction. Repair and reset. Okay. One of us has to make these repairs. Liara, I need you to fix this. You got it. Ready, Javid? It's just the two of us. Yes, Commander. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Okay. The guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. But there's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Wait for my go. You can begin the evacuation from the command terminal. Got it. Punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch Shuttle 1. Shuttle 1 is away. Alright. Everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here!
Let's go. Clear the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up. Then get out to the landing pad. Lead on. Jacob, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Here we go. Okay, let's get these people out of here. Jacob, come in. What's your status? Shepard, the facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. That was the last of the civilians. Shepard, heads up! Our silver one! We gotta go! Jake, Get it to you with the shuttle! Understood. Landing area cleared. This place is crawling. Bring the shuttle to you. Roger that. Skin of our teeth again, eh, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, Drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them, and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. 
The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Perhaps we can talk later. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play. I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. 
And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. It's windy up here. Think I'm going to erect a monument right here. Bronze this gun so the whole galaxy knows. That you're the king of the bottle shooters. Glad you're around, Garrus. Never know when the bottles might revolt. <laughs> You don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring. Getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. 
But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. I think we'd be good together, Liara. I... Shepard, I didn't think... Not that I... I mean... I could see how... Sorry. No pressure. No, no. I can tell you my answer now. I like you a lot too, Shepard. And I... Like it very much. I would too. Commander, thanks for coming. This must be really hard on your sister. I'm very sorry for her loss. It's tough to see her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. Wanted Thomas to hear it. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister is waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of... Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus too. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Just... I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't... do anything. Okay. But I might be able to help you with uh, whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Conrad, I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reapers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration. Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Hang on. I have an old contact. Ah, oh, come on, Hossel, help me out. Sorry, the war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Okay, 
He's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Would this collection of Asari matriarch writings help? Uh, yes. Yes, it would. Okay, it's out of translating. Let's see. Oh no, the technology falls under an existing patent. I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos Combine? I don't have that. Here, at least let me send you my dissertation. Maybe it'll help a little. Anyway, good luck fixing the metagel dispensers. I'll just be here, not touching anything. I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey! That's him! That's my Cerberus contact! Hey! Hey, you! You're under arrest. Shepard. Shepard. Did I help? Yeah, Conrad. You helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Grissom Academy also fell to the Reapers when Elysium was attacked, but Alliance forces were able hey, to evacuate all oh, students. you, hey. Your parents get... James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat... 
I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail, right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice? Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! Mm -hmm.